politics or, or anything else. They just picked up what was going on and did a, a humorous uh, work on that. And Mad was the first real uh, magazine that did what they did. And uh, they did it so well that nobody could conf compete with them. And uh, they, they were the one and only Mad. Around the time that you started with Mad, I, I consider it still to be kind of in its infancy. And it wasn't long before in American culture you had the assassination of Kennedy, you had the, the escalation in Vietnam, the counterculture was moving. How did MAD, and, and perhaps your, you as an artist, work with that and, and, and move through that change in culture? Well, that was the job of the writers and the editors. They had to write about it, and the writing always came first. And their slant was their slant. And the artist would just communicate the writing in pictures and add a lot of his own sight gags or his own input, you know, how he handled the figures, you know. The artist had some contribution in that, but it was basically the writers and the editor that uh, set the tone for the article. Who did you work with most often when you would deliver work to Mad? You mean the writers? Well, no, I'm, I'm sorry, in terms of the editorial or production. Well, Al Felstein. Al, Al Felstein, yeah. He you didn't the... do much work with Meglin or? No, Al Felstein, when, when Al Felstein was the editor, he was the editor. Nick Meglin was assistant editor. And there were a couple other guys who would sit in and give their opinions on things, but Al Felstein was the editor. Did you have much?